Hi, this is Tiffany Secard with Home Key Mortgage, and you're listening to Local Leaders, the podcast. Every business owner has a story. Let Jim Chapman tell yours. Hi, it's Trisha Johnston, Residential Realtor with Ladder and Bloom with your real estate tip of the week. Whether you're buying or selling, it's important for you to know that not all contracts make it to the closing table. Many times when a contract gets canceled, it's during the buyer's inspection period. So if you're the seller, you may want to negotiate a shorter inspection period. You should also consider continuing to allow showings to hopefully get a backup contract in place. If you're a buyer interested in a house that's already under contract, you should find out if the seller is willing to accept your offer as a backup contract. If you have a backup contract on the house and the primary contract gets canceled for any reason, your contract would become the primary instead of the house going back on the market. There's really no disadvantage to having a backup contract because you can continue to look at other properties while you're in that backup position. As with everything in real estate, it's important to have a trusted realtor helping advise you and guide you through the process, making sure you know what all your options are to help you make the best decision. If you have any questions at all, I'm always just a phone call away. I'm Trisha Johnston with Ladder and Bloom, and I'll be back here next week with another real estate tip for you. Hey, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Local Leaders, a podcast. I am your host, Jim Chapman, and today I am flying solo. I have some really exciting announcements I would like to cover with you regarding all the things we are doing right here at Local Leaders, as well as some things our sister company, Envision Podcast Studio Rentals, have going on that are not only something unlike anything else you will find in Livingston Parish, but also unlike anything you'll find in South Louisiana. Now, before I jump into it, I want to thank everyone who has supported this podcast by watching it, sharing it, supporting it through sponsorships or appearing on the show. Local Leaders, the podcast is now and will always be about the guests that appear, and wow, are we making a splash. In a little over a year, folks, we have appeared on Podcast Magazine's Hot 50 chart twice in 2020, and in 2021, we were rated number six out of the top 45 must-watch small business podcasts in the country by Blogspot. Now, we've given back by supporting the Denham Springs High School sports, promoting several local nonprofits, including our favorite, Mighty Moms, and helped our friends at Real Life, Real Crime, Home Key Mortgage, and Duvall's Cajun Charter raise over $8,000 in just a couple of months to support LOPA. It's a community support that has enabled local leaders of podcasts to achieve new heights in regard to numbers, Over the past year, and as of today, we have surpassed over 7,000 YouTube subscribers. Even more impressive is that about 85% of that are local folks. Uh, We've also garnered nearly 2,000 Facebook fans, nearly 1,500 Instagram fans, and all told, we have achieved, get this folks, over 350,000 downloads in just 107 episodes. What makes me most proud is that according to the analytics, as I said earlier, over 80% of all of that overall are folks located right here in South Louisiana. Now, I got some exciting stuff to tell you today, so I'm just going to get started. First, I want to cover a little bit about the format of Local Leaders of Podcast. One of the biggest questions I get asked is, uh, What do y'all do over there at Local Leaders? Well, the long and short of it is we offer a long-form podcast to tell the entire story of business ownership, the journey, if you will, that got you there. 
people, when they know your why, they buy. And what I mean by that is if someone knows why you do something, the struggles you went through, and your passion for it, they're more apt to come back to you or they're more apt to seek you out with that good or service that they're looking for, whether it's buying a house or buying insurance or getting you to pressure wash their house, whatever it is you do. If someone knows how much it means to you, your passion, they know your story, they know the struggles maybe that you went through, they're more likely to do business with you. They're more likely to refer friends and family to you and go out of their way for you. You can only get that kind of emotion and passion out of a podcast. So that's primarily uh, what Local Leaders does now. BJ Pawn and Gun in Denham Springs wants to buy your unwanted gold jewelry, gold coins, and gold bullion. With 30 years of experience operating in the Livingston Parish area, BJ Pawn wants to be your source when selling your gold. So stop by BJ Pawn today for a no obligation offer. BJ Pawn, a proud sponsor of Local Leaders, the podcast. We're supported primarily through sponsorships, and we charge a small fee to, to appear on the show. Those fees cover everything from you know the the rent that we pay for the building, uh, and the some twelve hours of promotion we do uh, that includes editing, producing, engineering the podcast, and putting it out there to the masses. Uh, it's about the most inexpensive advertising you'll ever find, uh, and it works wonders. A lot of success stories so, stories here at Local Leaders, the podcast with our past advertisers. Now, here's the big announcement on the Local Leaders side. Um, local Leaders, the podcast, is excited to now offer a Patreon page for our vast community of local leaders And we're doing this in an attempt to give our listeners even more value to their life. Um, I have been asked numerous times if I would do solo podcast in which um, I tell stories of how you can become a better leader. Uh, Things that I've learned over 25 years in the really the leadership and sales business uh, and some people want some solo tips and things like that. Maybe a discussion on how to form relationships with, you know, customers or even difficult customers in some cases. Uh, so I have, I'm going to do a tiered exclusive access community where I'm going to offer all kinds of exciting parts you can't get anywhere else. These will be things such as commercial-free episodes of Local Leaders of the Podcast, exclusive members-only merchandise that will be uh, provided by local leaders and our advertisers, uh, bonus episodes available exclusively to our Patreons, or patrons, as they call them, uh, fan shout-outs, and we'll even go behind the scenes and give you a bunch of content that really will give you an inside look at what goes into the massive production process of our episodes. But we're going to start filming stuff like that, and we'll release that to Patreons. I promise you a lot of it's comical and funny, and you'll enjoy it. Look for specific information just on our Patreon coming out soon. The launch day is right around the corner. William Waldrop of TWFG Insurance in Denham Springs can service all of your insurance needs. Offering auto, life, health, and commercial insurance, William Waldrop of TWFG Insurance is a proud supporter of Local Leaders, the podcast. As Local Leaders of Podcast grows, we are actually having a lot of viewers that are reaching out, and they're requesting that specific industries be featured. I can't tell you how many people come up to me and say, hey, can you get a travel agent on the show, Jim? 
we're planning on taking a trip and we're kind of looking for someone uh, to be our travel agent. Um, so if you know of anyone in these industries, I just put kind of the top five that I've been asked for in the last month. Uh, I want to sit down and talk to them, refer them to me, pass on uh, Local Leaders of the Podcast website to them at www.localleadersofthepodcast.com. Let them check it out. All the past episodes are on there. And if there's any interest, have them reach out to me. So the businesses that the top five that I kind of came up with are a travel agent. I'd love to sit down and talk to one of those. I have had many people stop me and tell me I need to get a business attorney on the show. An event planner, a computer repair company uh, owner, and a commercial lawn care company. Those are kind of the... Numerous times, each of these have been requested. So uh, if you know somebody in these spheres, tag them on this video or give them a call or a message, and uh, and let's get in touch and see what we can do to to get them some business uh, through Local Leaders of Podcast. Now, of course, all business owners have a story, and my moniker is every business owner has a story, and I want to tell it. So it doesn't matter what what industry you're in, I want to sit down and talk to you uh, and get and find out, you know, the person behind the scenes, basically. Let's let's hear about your life and how you ended up doing whatever it is you do. We love to do that here. And I promise you, you will be happy with the result. Now, lastly, on local leaders, we've been contacted uh, actually by several different people regarding possibly franchising our podcast in other areas of the country. Now, when I set out to do this podcast, my number one, number one priority was to shine as much of a spotlight as I could on local business, primarily family-owned private companies. This concept apparently is catching on, and in the not-so-distant future, there may be a Local Leaders of the Podcast Jackson, Mississippi edition or something uh, in other areas of the country, and they may be doing the same things we're doing here via a franchise system. Uh, We're excited, very excited about what may be on the horizon with this opportunity. It will be like nothing you've ever seen. And let me tell you, um, in my wildest dreams, I could picture – the, the best picture I could picture would be towns all over the United States all promoting local business. And wouldn't that be a beautiful thing? It's an amazing concept we have here. It's catching on. People are interested. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that. In addition to Local Leaders of Podcast, I do want to tell you about our sister company, Envision Podcast Studio Rentals, because this is exciting stuff right here. Uh, To sum it up, Envision Podcast Studio Rentals offers professional audio and video equipment services you can't get anywhere else. And when I tell you professional, the microphones I talk through, the mixer that I use, the, the headphone stands even, in addition to the headphones, the lighting the soundproof booth, no expense was spared. Uh, if you go on the number one podcaster in the world, which is Joe Rogan, you can just YouTube uh, the Joe Rogan Experience is the name of his podcast. Uh, this guy gets 100 million plus downloads per episode. Go on his podcast, look at his microphones, and they're the same ones I have. Uh, the lighting is the same lighting I have. As a matter of fact, these stands, these are Gator Framework stands, the same exact stands that Joe Rogan has. Uh, When I really jumped into this full bore, I wanted to make sure I had the best equipment I could. Uh, I did not want to spare expense there. And and it has paid off. We're, We're very successful. That is because of all of you, of course. Thank you so much for everything you do. But um, all of that being said, we do rent this studio. Maybe you don't want to sit down with me and tell your story. Uh, Maybe you want to tell your story yourself, or maybe you're a realtor 
and you want to promote your listings once every couple of weeks as and use it as something to go to that that uh homeowner that has a renewal coming up in in two weeks and say i'm putting you on a podcast um or i'm promoting your house on a podcast and that's kind of what separates me from something you can get from another realtor uh but you can tie that into any industry i just think it's tailor-made for realtors in my opinion i think i think it's perfect for them but you could use it in any industry so Stephanie Berthelot and the crew at SR Enterprise can handle it all, from sheetrock to texture to paint. Give Stephanie a call at 504-432-9284. SR Enterprise, where they spread the paint and you spread the word. You may be thinking to yourself, well, I don't know. I don't know how to get out on iTunes and Spotify and YouTube. And I don't know how to edit. I don't have editing software. And I don't know how to do artwork or how to come up with a logo or how to build a website. Guess what? Here at Envision Podcast Studio Rentals, we do every bit of that. We specialize in this. So you come in, you sit down, you talk, and we have packages that are laid out. And those packages are basically options for you. Maybe you are someone that knows your way around a podcast. And all you want to do is record because your podcast equipment is on the fritz or something like that. No problem. We'll record it. And we'll give you that on a jump drive. And you can um, go to town with it and, and rock and roll. But let's say you're someone that's never done a podcast and you're interested in learning. Maybe um, maybe you don't want us to handle it every time for you. Maybe we just do a few episodes, but you want us to train you on how to do that stuff. We have it. We offer that. Uh, we actually have a podcast starter package, for example, that includes one one-hour video podcast or two half-hour audio podcasts. In addition to that, it includes logo design. It includes, of course, a little bit of training uh, that you'd be interested in. It includes the booth and all the equipment and some other artwork to post, promote, and pre-promote it. It also also includes Spotify setup, uh, Apple Podcast setup, Google Podcast. It's like six different... We set it up on six different audio formats as well as YouTube. You get all of that, and it's less than $500. Less than $500. And we edit everything. I mean, literally, your first podcast comes out, and you did nothing but sat down and talked, basically. From there, we have packages, as you learn, where you can do an audio podcast for less than $50, an audio and video podcast for less than 66. And if you want to edit us, uh, edit the podcast, it's only about 20 bucks more for a video and 15 bucks more for audio. Uh, so we can talk about all that. Reach out to us. I can tell you if you have a podcast, you want to get serious with it and you want Google to figure out who you are and what you do so that they can push you out there and people start watching that podcast, you better have a website centered around podcasting uh very important i did not uh really jump jump to new heights until i had my websites podcast website set up again at www.localleadersofpodcast.com and incidentally there is a podcast uh website for envision podcast studio rentals and that is at www.envisionpodcaststudio.com and of course I'm going to link all that to this video uh, so that you don't have to rewind and write down and all that sort of stuff. Now in addition to all of that we do, logo design website builds training uh, artwork, pre and post promotion, all of those things and I encourage you to go to Envision Podcast Studio and check that out because we break it down really easy. Incidentally, you can also go there and you can uh, book the booth. 
right there online. You never have to talk to anybody. Although I would ask if uh, if you can reach out and just shoot me a text or something that it's supposed to shoot me a text, but just to kind of double double up on that. Um, if you can reach out and shoot me a text, that will be great. But you can actually see when it's booked, when it's not booked. You can pick a date, a time. It's like booking a trip to Disney World. And you pay right there online. You never have to talk to anybody. You could do this at 2 o'clock in the morning when that great idea comes in your head. Whatever you want to do. Uh, so that's Envision Podcast Studio Rentals. Now, under that same umbrella, we also do social media management. Uh, social media ties in with podcasting. It's like peas and carrots, right? So uh, a big part of our success is our promotion on social media that we do for local leaders of podcast and, and some other folks that we handle uh, podcast for. Um, all of that being said, there are a lot of companies, especially smaller companies, that have not kind of figured out social media yet. They haven't figured out uh, exactly how it works. And guess what? It's not easy. Even for us people that have, you know, I have 30 different certifications in social media management from every major, uh, website and blog, uh, company there is in a lot of hours and a lot of time to get those certifications. And even then I have to stay up on it on a daily basis. It changes. They have algorithms. Those algorithms change. There's a big one coming with, uh, Facebook and also a big one coming with Google shortly that are going to kind of change the ball game. And we're going to have to figure that algorithm out uh, as professionals in this industry. No problem though. We, they have people that go rogue that tell us all that stuff. It's a long story, but anyway, uh, social media management is another thing that we do. Uh, and it really assists uh, those local small businesses, the, Number one, don't have the time. Number two, don't really have the knowledge. You know, short of posting a Facebook post and an Instagram picture, uh, that's pretty much a wrap for most small businesses. They don't have the time to invest in it. But let me tell you, if you don't have someone managing your social media that knows what they're doing, now that's the key. It's, you know, um, it. First of all, a lot of people look at age and they think if someone's 20 years old and they post pictures on Instagram all the time and they have a long following that they know what they're doing. It's not necessarily true. It's one thing to post and promote yourself. It's another thing to post and promote your business. Totally different. Your clientele is totally different. So uh, go with a professional From humble beginnings in 1989, Big Mike's has long been a place for friends and family to gather for lunch, dinner, and drinks. Big Mike, Jocelyn, and their friendly staff invite you to come in and relax in one of their spacious dining areas or watch a game on one of the big screen TVs. Big Mike's is a place to meet old friends or make new ones. Big Mike's offers daily and nightly specials, and they specialize in serving up delicious and fresh menu items. Big Mike's offers a catering menu for large groups and has private party rooms for up to 100 guests. Whether you're planning a quick lunch or a large family dinner or just a night out with friends, Big Mike welcomes you to experience a great time. And don't forget to grab some t-shirts, caps, or koozies in the gift shop. Oh, or a bottle of Big Mike's Honey Dijon. It's delicious. Big Mike's Sports Bar and Grill. We're kind of a big deal. Uh, the biggest thing with social media management is the time and the knowledge. And if you're a business owner, it's hard to find time for that. So we do do that. Reach out to us uh, and let me know if you want me to just go meet with you or you come meet with me here at the studio and we'll cover everything we can do for you on that side of things. Uh, so really excited about that as well. Now, I want to thank everyone out there for viewing and listening to Local Leaders, the podcast. Please continue to like, comment, subscribe, and share Local Leaders. We really do strive to shine a spotlight on all of our local businesses, nonprofits, and business leaders in our community. 
I do want to mention uh, Woody Overton and Real Life Real Crime and let them know I had a great time. Fantastic, unbelievable time, really, at the at the uh, the Crew Bash 2 that took place at the Texas Club this past weekend. We Like, like I said, we raised $8,000 for Lopa. Chase Tyler rocked it out, did a great two-hour show after. He's a local uh, Denim Springs guy, the Chase Tyler band. And they are always good. I say this at the end of every show, but I do want to reiterate uh, and thank all my sponsors. Uh, Trisha Johnston Realtor, BJ Pawn, Big Mike Sports Barn Grill, Sport and Center, Black Sheep Creative, SR Enterprise Painting, and William Waldrop of TWFG Insurance. I could not do any of this without all of them folks period so please consider these folks when you're making your buying decisions they support us we support them let's all support each other i'm telling you it makes a difference it matters it's nice to go in a business and that person across from you knows your name right and appreciates it that you're there and that dollar you spend in there goes a long way it may end up going to that local high school for something. It may end up uh, going to a local uh, nonprofit for something. So so uh, Jim Chapman loves local. I know that if you're watching this show, you do too. And I thank all of you for everything you do for me. To sum up the major announcements, look for our Patreon coming out soon. A little bit more out in the future, but maybe uh, sooner than some might think, look for a franchise of local leaders of the podcast if you're in another area of the country. Uh, We want this show to touch people in every market. We have a following here that is over 80% local. Other areas of the country are taking notice and are interested in maybe uh, possibly getting a franchise of our company So look for that maybe in the not-so-distant future. And the third major announcement, of course, I wanted to introduce you to Envision Podcast Studio Rentals and let you know we are so much more than just renting a space. But we do, of course, that's our bread and butter here. We'll rent this space right here, right where I'm talking from, producing from, and this $25,000 worth of equipment. Uh, We'll rent this space to you for audio, audio and video, whatever you want. Uh, and it's ultra reasonable. Check out the website. All the prices are there. We don't hide anything. Uh, so check out the website for that. Get your own show. Tell your own story. Get Interview people like I do. Um, we love our little podcasting community here. Until next time, I am Jim Chapman, and I'm reminding you to love your community, support local business, and keep leading. Thank you. Local Leaders, the podcast, is proud to support Mighty Moms. Mighty Moms is a community of ordinary people on an extraordinary mission to end childhood hunger in Livingston Parish. You can find out more information by visiting MightyMomsGo.org. Black Sheep Creative understands the importance of digital marketing and your return on your investment. It's their aim to provide professional web and graphic design services at a price point that smaller businesses and startups can afford. Get in touch with them on the web at blacksheepcreative.com. Sport and Center in Denham Springs is your one-stop shop for team sports equipment, school uniforms, and promotional goods. Conveniently located next to the Antique Village since 1977. Sport and Center, your business means everything to them because your name rides on everything they do.